Welcome to another edition of MIW. Got the D-Man here, and I'm glad you guys could join me. Remember to hit the like and subscribe button. Smash that like button. Okay, today I'm going to talk about being alone again, or being single, or being single and alone. There is a difference. Being alone is sometimes implies that uh, you don't have anybody to go out with. Now, you can be single and have many girls that you're dating, uh, it's called spinning plates. You don't have anyone you're serious with, but you're dating girls. So you're still alone, I guess, technically, by social standards. But, but what I'm going to talk about today is being alone, not actively dating or seeking anybody. Now, this is the best time you can have. If you're sitting around thinking about, oh, I wish I had a girl. If I had a girl, I could, I know I could make something of myself um, because so many people are going to tell you you'll meet the right girl or maybe you got dumped by your girlfriend or you broke up with your girlfriend and you're thinking about her or you're you're wishing you had her back well there's a reason you broke up with her or there's a reason she broke up with you something wasn't working so why would you go back to something that wasn't working now if it was you that was the problem okay if it were you that was the problem, um, then you should spend this time alone working on yourself. Regardless of if you get back together with her, if you don't change yourself, whether it's her or a new girl, when you do meet someone, you're gonna have the same thing again. Because unless you change, nothing is going to change in the outside. You will meet the same girl with a different face. And at first when you meet her, you'll think, oh, this is great, she's different, she understands me, or, or I really like her, she's not like the other girl. Well, the other girl was like she was because you are like you are. So take this time of being alone to look into yourself because that's where everything comes from. Everything comes from within you. I have been with many women throughout my life uh, dated many beautiful women. I've been married to a few beautiful women. <laughs> and what happens is, even though I've continued to work on myself, I do find myself in the same situations as I had before. Now, this is for you to learn about yourself. But if you blame everyone else, now that's not to say that the person you're with doesn't have faults, because she does. There are no perfect people. Or if you're gay, he does. Or whatever you're sexual preference is. Whatever problems you have in your next relationship will be similar to the ones you had in your previous relationship unless you work on yourself and look within yourself and find out how you contributed to the situation that caused you to leave this person or caused that person to leave you. So this time alone is a time of self-discovery. We have a saying, it's uncover, discover, and discard. So you have, to under, you have to uncover what is within you and the things you're doing or the habits you have that are not contributing to your success, whether it be in relationships, business, sports, whatever you're into, whatever you like. And you need to be into something besides Xbox and sitting around watching pornography, okay? That'll get you nowhere. I have nothing against pornography, but it's just a, it's a nowhere. Many young people these days become addicted to it. Uh, it kind of falsely satisfies their need for a, for a woman or their desire to be with a woman. But that's a whole other video. Back to the topic of looking uncover. So you uncover what, this, what the problems within you are. Quit focusing on her, but look within yourself, okay? All right, after you uncover, discover. So you've discovered, you've uncovered the problems, you've discovered what they are. Now you have to discard them. Now you can't necessarily get rid of a problem by thinking about getting rid of it. You have to replace it with something else. You have to replace it with a new behavior. And you do that by when you catch yourself, how do I say, when you catch yourself um, demonstrating or, or, or doing the old behavior you don't like, you have to stop you can use an affirmation and change yourself. Because I'll guarantee you, whatever behaviors you're demonstrating or uh, exhibiting or using with your ex-girlfriend or with girls in general that don't work, you do the very same thing in all your relationships. 
maybe not to the same degree and it may not cause the same problems because in intimate relationships you tend to as time goes by be more yourself you become more comfortable you do things after four or five months that you wouldn't do when you first meet the girl and vice versa she's the same way so you you kind of find out how each other are you become comfortable and then the real you starts coming out and with her the real her starts coming out that's why it takes time to get to know people because they can hide themselves for about three months okay so so you're digging within yourself you're getting rid of this you're discarding those things and now another thing you need to do is quit focusing on girls. Focus on your mission, your purpose in life. Girls don't want to be your focus. They don't want to be your mission. They want to follow you. They want you know, Girls want to follow a leader. Although in the U.S., most girls are really masculine. So it's a lot of work to get them to follow you. They want to lead. They want to walk in front of you. I've experienced that not only with girls here in the States, you have to set the frame and if they won't adhere to your frame then walk away from them because there are so there are so many simps out there and beta males for lack of a better term that allow the woman to lead go to the market go to the mall uh walmart market i'm used to being in a third world country we don't call them markets here anymore um, and watch and you'll see the woman should be pushing the cart or should be walking and the man's pushing the cart behind her with a couple of kids. I mean, that's a common thing here in the U.S. The man should always lead, literally as well as uh, emotionally and, and in the relationship structurally. Okay, but a lot of times women are so used to these weak men that they will try to lead. And it's almost like a battle. It can, it can become a lot of work getting them to submit to you. But if they won't submit to your leadership, you just as well walk away because... A woman cannot lead the relationship. She will lead it right into self-sabotage, her sabotaging the relationship. Because in her primal brain, she does not want a man that she can lead around. Now, she thinks that, and many women will tell you, I want a man that's equal. Well, they want all women, women want all men to be equal to them, except the man that they're with. And I guarantee you, if you let her lead the relationship, she will lead it right into destruction. Women cannot lead a relationship. They like it because they feel in control and they feel secure, but the day comes when they think, well, I don't know, I just don't, I don't want to be with him anymore. They don't even know why. They don't even want to have sex with you anymore. They don't want to be with you. They, they, may go, they may stay with you if you're a good provider and find another guy that they sleep with who gives them nothing. And they don't understand why they do that, but they do it because you're not being a strong leader. This bull crap about sharing your emotions with women and sharing your feelings, this is a uh, women's liberation thing uh, idea which started in the 60s. It does not work, which is obvious by our 70% divorce rate initiated, or 50% divorce rate, all marriages end and 50% of them end in divorce. 70% of those divorces are initiated by the woman. Okay, so there again, she's even leading in the divorce. So it's very difficult here in the U.S. Uh, the, the laws are so uh, biased against men and so much for the women, for the, yeah, for the women that uh, to be married here in the States is, uh, is really a losing proposition and an unconscionable contract for men. But that's another video also. <laughs> Back to the alone. Best time you'll ever have. If you focus on yourself, build your business, build your purpose, build something. You should be doing something with your life besides chasing women. You can be productive. You do not need a woman to be successful. A woman is a complement to your life. But first, you have, a, you have to have a life that she can be a complement of. So look at yourself. Is your life what you want it to be? Are you going in the direction which you want to be going? Are you just sitting around watching TV Maybe you got an eight to four job, you go in, you come home, you bitch about work, you watch TV all evening. What do you have to offer a woman? What do you have to offer a woman? You got to have something more than that. I mean, for example, what I do, uh, I spend a lot of time reading, studying, I listen to YouTube videos on metaphysical principles and the dating um, arena, how it changes. It's constantly changing. You have to keep up with the times. Okay, I, uh, I wrote a book. I'm having it published next month. 
Um, I have, of course, this YouTube channel, which I'm building. I have the other business, the painting company, and I have a few other ideas. So I stay busy all day. Okay, you have, you have to build, build a life. You don't have to chase women. Just be the man that women want to be with. Be the man that other men want to be. Okay, that's all you have to do. Money, muscles, and game. Money today equals status. Wealth, on the other hand, is, is more than money although we equate it with money nowadays, but wealth is many things. For example, a part of my wealth is my family. I have six children, don't have a wife, which I'm happy about that, it's been nine years. I can date, I date girls all over the world, okay? Many people would love to have children. They would pay millions of dollars to have children, but they can't have their own children. They can adopt. So that is part of my wealth. The fact that I could, I could get on a plane today, if if uh, the current, uh, uh, how would I say, pandemic would allow, and I could go anywhere in the world and go out with any beautiful, any beautiful young woman I wanted to. Um, I don't fish in the lake of the United States. I prefer to fish in other lakes where the fish are more, uh, how do I say, beautiful and feminine. That's just my choice, although you can fish here if you like. But focus on yourself, on your business. Go to the gym, work out. You know, I look good. I'm in damn good shape. I got a six pack. I'm six foot tall with my boots. <laughs> I'm a little less than six foot tall. Okay. And I have a six figure income. All right. So, and that is not hard to do in the United States. Okay. My wealth consists of much more than money because you can have a lot of money and you're going to get a girl to go out with you for the money, but uh, there's gold diggers, of course, but that will not keep her. That will not give you the desirable, how do I say? She may have sex with you because you provide for her, but you won't have the, the hot desire. She will not have that hot desire for you. And then I, I've had both. I've had a woman desire to be with me, and then it kind of turned into I was just taking care of her, and it just is no good. It's empty. Or for me, that kind of sex is empty. If you just want to go out and have sex like that, then hire a prostitute. But when you become the man that you are capable of being, Anything that you dream and desire, you can become. You would not have the desire within yourself were you not capable of achieving it. Don't go tell everybody what you want to do because most people are going to reflect your fears back to you and give you all the reasons why you can't become the man you want to become. You can do it. You just have to take action. Okay, you don't know the, you don't know the whole path. Do you know the first step? Of course you do. It may be as simple as getting up and making a phone call or getting online and researching. When you get the first step done, the second step will be revealed to you. Make a plan the best you can. Keep that plan flexible because I guarantee it will change. Make a vision. Focus on that vision of yourself already being the man you want to be and having the things you want to have. Okay, and then let it go. It's like putting a seed in the ground. You focus on the vision for whatever it be, 10, 15 minutes. Okay, and anytime you have a thought during the day, oh, I'll never be able to do that. What am I thinking? You, you eliminate that thought with a positive affirmation, a short one about who you want to be as if you are the person you want to be right now. Affirmations, I have it written on my walls so I can remember. <laughs> I have things written all over my walls like a mad scientist here. Affirmations are reminders that what you seek is already here. It's already a reality within you. You just have to water that reality and allow it to grow. Water it by visualizing, by affirming it, by believing it, by eliminating every negative thought that is in contrast with what you desire to be. And you do that by not trying to we see you do that by affirming the exact opposite with a short affirmation with emotion and feeling and using visualizations your imagination to feel yourself and think from the state of the person you desire to be okay that's it for today i hope this has been of help to you and smash that like button share this with a friend and subscribe we got more coming out every day Talk to you later.